So tonight is physio night for Bailey. Um, it has been a year. Uh, now he's coming into work more. So this year he's sort of come back into work. Now he's literally full time work. Um, he's going to get it more often, um, probably three times a year. So Anne Marie Bright is who I use. Um, she's done Bailey since the start. I've also used her. Um, with previous horses that have had SI problems, um, back problems, and she's literally um, gave us a training program and they went back to show jumping, so she's absolutely amazing. Um, I'm gonna ask for her permission to make sure she's okay with me um, doing little films of her. I'll probably uh, put the phone in the corner and hopefully try and film half the side if possible, if not the whole thing. Um, probably won't do time lapse, I'll probably do snippets of it throughout. So, yeah, um, it's quite chilly tonight. It's dark outside already, not enjoying winter. Um, he's actually quite relaxed, he's glad he's in. He's had his vaccinations this morning as well. Um, all three of them did. So, hopefully, he should be fine. Um, he's normally good as gold. Um, bit worried about because I, I completely forgot how she wanted it uh, previously obviously we haven't got hard stand in here um so i've sort of made the stable as flat as possible but obviously we're not on concrete either in the stable um and then i've set up two lights so if we tie them up in the middle two lights either side point into his body so it should be nice and bright for her um if not we have to have a look around the yard and see where else we can put him um if, if it's not flat enough for her. Oh, I'm resting him, I'm resting you on his bum and he's just backed up more because he wants itches. So, yeah. Here he is, waiting. But one of the lights is on, the other one's not on yet. Oh, there, too bright, too bright. Um, so he's just eating with Percy while we wait and we're gonna have a little clean up, um, just take some bits home because in the area it's been quite bad for burglaries at the moment, which is not nice. Um, it makes you worry about everything you've got. Um, so I'll be doing that while I wait while he eats. So I'm gonna give Bailey a quick groom with our magic brush, which is quite dirty, but as long as the mud's off him, that's what counts. Flipping the rug just so he doesn't get catch a cold. So we're just quartering it over and um, just to keep him nice and warm. So I'm very lucky, he's actually quite clean today. Um, he's got a little bit of wet there where his coronet bounds are mud. So we'll leave that, hopefully that dries um, before Anne-Marie gets here. Um, but it's not a problem if not. But hopefully the time she has to pick them up, they're dry and doesn't make her all muddy. But thank you, Magic Brush.
sure this is contravening most health and safety issues <laughs> in the Shetland. <laughs> oh, he just he doesn't move out of the way either. But Overall, it's been a great session with Emma Ree Bright. Um, no issues or concerns with Bailey. He was slightly, slightly tight in his um, offside shoulder, which is his right shoulder. Um, but Anne Marie did say that it wasn't tight enough that it would sort of really affect him or make him sort of fall in or out, um, which is great that we've caught it early um, to get that sorted before it actually got quite tight and really affected his, his work. Um, we will be seeing Amory Bright um, again in sort of February, March time, just before the season starts, um, and then definitely at the end of the season, and then we might have um, one in the middle, just to see, um, just a general check really, the one in the middle will be, um, make sure he's doing no good, nothing that will affect his performance. So. Thank you, Anne Marie Bright from Muscle Bounds. He's got his ears pricked forwards. Or well, he's probably seen loads of deer in the field, actually. <laughs>